Welcome to Eagles Breakdown once again. It's the one and only big game day. I'm here with my man, too. And we are talking about it. We got our first look at the latest edition, the 21-22 Philadelphia Eagles. New coach, new quarterback, new everything. Brand spanking new look. So let's start things off with what actually stood out to you. Our first look. Believe it or not. I was focused on the head coach. I wanted to see his field presence. Mm-hmm. I wanted. To, I was looking at his demeanor, everything, and um, it looked like he was in charge. It looked like he had a plan. It looked like, you know, he wasn't like over hype, like rah rah. He just he, yeah. He, and that's one of the concerns I had was yeah, him being he, a little too rah rah. Yeah, he, he looked. He looked comfortable. He, he he looked comfortable. So evaluating him, so to speak, I was. I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised by his demeanor. Um, so that me, I also was looking at a couple of positions that people aren't talking about. Like I'm looking at the uh, that left guard. That's a yeah. position that I'm looking at. You know, we know the left tackle is having a great camp, and we know the mm-hmm. other three, the center and the right side, is if healthy, they're great. Yeah. So I was looking at that right guard. Um, he looked good. Um, I'm not going to say the uh, the tight end's name. Because it's just like, I'm be like, that tight end I liked, you know, I um, I got my eye on him. So I noticed the tight end. Yeah. I noticed the uh, the right guard. Not noticing is like noticing. It's like the, the official. When you don't know it's oh, official, yeah. it's a great game. So, mm-hmm. you know, so that's a couple things that I really dialed in on early. Okay. How about any anything that was like, hmm? Did you see anything? Because we saw, like, you know, and I'll, I'll let me explain that in a little bit more detail. Because okay. I agree with you. Like, um, they actually, like, a lot of the people were saying, a lot of the reaction was, they actually look kind of crisp. Yeah. They look kind of crisp. Like, you can tell, like, the coaching is, like, they're listening. Mm-hmm. You could tell they came out there and the starters, the people who are getting the focused attention, people who are getting the reps, they actually looked like a cohesive unit. I think we're trying to say is they kind of looked fundamentally sound. Yeah, they, like they like they knew what they was doing. Yeah, they yeah. knew. Well, unlike last year. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so did anything kind of just like, uh, like um, you know, kind of on oh that, that might need a little work, and then then we'll get specific. We'll get into some specific. Believe it or not, I think it's the fans' expectations because I, I think I want fans to just remember. Let's let's not get too excited. Let's not, you know, go overboard with some things that we may have seen. Mm-hmm. We still just evaluating. Let's yeah. remember, you know, it wasn't like you know Pittsburgh had all the number one players out there. Yeah, it wasn't a real game. So but it was practice, as you said. I, I my takeaway was maybe they, they're a little further along than maybe I was anticipating, mm-hmm. but I'm still staying grounded. Yeah. And evaluate. How about that pass uh, Hurts through to Goddard? That was nice. Did you think he had it in him? It was a nice pass. I'm staying grounded. It <laughs> he was had a good time. Pass. Now, now, all right, nice let's go. This is Philadelphia, all right? Because yeah. here's what my Eagles fan emotional self was thinking. Because mm-hmm. when I was watching this game, it was logical me versus Eagle fan uh-huh. emotional me. Yes. I was like, wow, if Hurts gets time, that offensive line stays healthy, and that defensive line stays healthy. Look at Sweat. Oh, my God. He's started so daydreaming. Good. He started yeah, daydreaming, started, right? Then yeah. everything breaks yeah. right, and this happens right, and we can sneak into the playoffs. Yeah. You know, everything, but they need a lot of things to break right from. Positives. Quez Watkins. A lot of the young players have talent, okay? <laughs> they got, you're laughing at me because this is, this is positive, optimistic Eagle fan talking. Then I'm going to get to my logical <laughs> okay, side, okay? okay. Right. So I'm like, well, they actually, they young. So many times when the Eagles draft players, you can just tell with the eye test, uh-huh. okay? And we're going to get into that in a second with the eye test, okay? I'm like, well, at least these guys have talent. So if they if they don't make it, they're not good enough. He get laughing at me. He laughing. That's cold, man. That's optimistic. Now rational me okay. was thinking what you're thinking. Why well, you're probably laughing at Eagle fan emotional me, where it's like, okay, look, it's the preseason. We got preseason darlings every year. Um, remember that Sam Bradford Green Bay game where he looked like Joe Montana. I, I, I'll tell you this. I think the best thing to take out of that performances you wanted to see more yeah you know it was like it okay you yeah it was kind of like okay you know it, you know 
maybe we got some here. I'm, I'm, as you said, intrigued to see a little bit more. Yeah, at, like my whole thing with the Eagles, because you know the fan of me is always going to have hope. Where I'm just like, all right, you know, once the logical me and the other side big fan me mixes together, I'm like, okay, well, they can be competitive this year. You know, not, maybe not win a bunch of games, but they'll give you a good fight. Like, and if that happens, I'll be like, okay. Yeah, I'm not ready to go there yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, know. <laughs> you got to see it. I saw you know, a, a little <laughs> flash here and there, but look, man, in totality, uh, dude, I, I got to be. I got, look, <laughs> I got, I, I got season tickets. I got to be. Look, for all the money I'm, tr- I'm putting on these season tickets, man, I ain't trying to see them getting smoked and I'm out. Halfway through the third quarter, I'm on the bus. Listen, I'm not saying that maybe three weeks from now, my opinion is different. Yeah. But just off the first dress rehearsal, you know, shout out Quez for taking it to the house. But Breakaway what, speed. It wasn't like he ran this great route on Joe Hayden and, you know, he went to yeah. the house. And, you know, so I'm just saying but, that's, it, it, it was enough to make me want to see more. Yeah. You know, so now, you know. Okay, Quez. Okay, let, let's let's see what you got. I'm interested mm-hmm. to see how you want to build off this performance. Is this going to go to your head, you know, or are you want to come back and you know build upon this? Yeah. And now let's get to the part that pretty much wasn't so good. Okay. <laughs> when the, the other units came in <laughs> that weren't the first unit, <laughs> like, yeah, and you got to see this team's depth and part of the rebuilding process or lack thereof. And that's been the issue the last several years because. Even the Super Bowl season, they weren't healthy. This mm-hmm. team hasn't stayed healthy for probably the last four or five years. Yeah. And when you see that second half, it's just like, for as optimistic as you may have been for that first team and started yeah. daydreaming, that had to be, you know, bring you back to reality. Like, you know what? Oh, man, if, if somebody gets hurt. The, the, yeah, we're in trouble. There's, there's nothing there. I mean, so, but I'm going to be fair and give the backups the same respect that I'm giving the stars where I'm going to just wait. You know, mm-hmm. maybe it was jitters because, you know, these are the second and third yeah. string teams. So a lot of young guys on those First time unit. in the NFL field, you know. Yeah. Remember last year there was no preseason. So I'm going to give them guys a benefit of the doubt. You know, stage might have been a little too big game yeah. one. So let's let's give them yeah, a mulligan. It did look like a <laughs> team of bad luck. Flip rocks running around out there. Though. Yeah, it was hard so to watch. It was, hard it was, it was painful because we actually had to change this segment. We were to break it down by quarter. It was just so bad. They're like, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, hell to the Nizal. We're not going to do that. Yeah. It was just bad. A lot of it. Guys just, you can just tell, like you said, they just, you know, they weren't getting the reps that the Stars got. They just, they look green as a gourd, you know, green as a pear tree. So, so all right, so let me ask you this. Okay. Any particular player stood out? We're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do anybody stood out, and then we're gonna do something about like so somebody I'm, I'm, you were like kind of looking for. I'm, I'm gonna get my buddy Ryan on because you know he didn't say names. He would say numbers or something. Yeah. I'm gonna say the that third string tight end. You All know. Right. Um, yeah. We'll, 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 we don't want to jinx him. He, it's Philadelphia. We're superstitious, <laughs> so we're not gonna say your um, name, fam. But we know who you are. He 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 caught my eye. Yeah, you know, he he caught my eyes. So, and know. just and he hasn't been doing this a long time. We're, we're staying vague. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we according to the to the the beat writers that follow the Eagles, mm-hmm. they've been raving about him this camp. They say yeah. like they don't know if the Eagles can hide him on the practice squad. Like yeah. he may have to make the team. And there's a couple people, honestly, that you heard good things about, mm-hmm. and then it showed in the preseason. Yeah. So just that's optimistic me again. There was a D-tackle, too, that caught my eye. I'm not going to say his name either, but it was a defensive tackle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said, whoa. You know, we're, do, we're doing names regular season. Yeah. Right now we're superstitious. Cause, yeah. you know. there, there was a backup defensive tackle, and I said, oh, then we can get some depth behind Fletcher and Javon. Yeah. Okay, like defensive tackle, that can be a strength. So. Yeah. He caught. He he flashed. Look like this. He flashed for yeah. me. So if you're an Eagles fan, I think hope. There's 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 hope there. No, no. I would say <laughs> there's a reason to see more. I want there's to see more. There's there. a reason to see more. Yeah, we I, might I'm actually intrigued have, to see more. Yes. And they might not win a ton of games, but you might get to see the older Super Bowl team transition into this new younger team. Uh, and that I, might be a fascinating watch. I thought they did that three years ago, but <laughs> that didn't happen. No, but it didn't happen. As we saw last year, that if it did happen, it was a spectacular no, failure. But no, I, I definitely understand what you're saying. Like I said, this year to me is just seeing what you have. Just, just assessment year. Yeah, just, just, just 
enjoy it for what it is. Like, yeah. don't set yourself up with too much high expectations. I said, look at it like you're a scout. You know, like you said, what, who flashed? What guy did you like? You know, and and enjoy it. And if, and if by some miracle something special happens, mm -hmm. then it's bonus. That's a bonus. Philadelphia must meditate. Remove <laughs> its expectation. And once its expectation is removed, mm -hmm. just watch the team. <laughs> now, that's not going to happen because it's Philadelphia. And like. then maybe in a perfect world, we wake up and we like the Phillies. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, now we know now. All right, all right. So, how about this? I'm going to call this segment, fam. I didn't even notice you. Okay. Like, was there a player that was like you were like okay, like I'm going to keep my eye out for this guy, and I didn't even notice him. Um. For me, it's the usual suspects, the guys that were kind of on the bubble, mm -hmm. the the high choices. Um. Where it's like, okay, this is break or bust time for you, and I didn't even notice you. I, I'm, I'm not going to say so much as not notice. Or they didn't stand out enough. I'm getting concerned with Rager. I, I'm, yeah, there's, I'm, there's a lot around him all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing more excitement about other players at his position. Quez Watkins, you saw that. You saw how everyone, you know, kind of. Um, so you know, he had a he had a, a early drop, and I'm pretty sure he'd tell you that's a ball he should catch ten out of ten times. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't the prettiest the prettiest of passes, but that's you got to catch that. Yeah. So um, and I don't know what his psyche is. I don't know how he would respond to maybe losing out to Quez Watkins. Maybe you know sharing reps with him. So um. That's somebody that I'm watching closely. Yeah. So, and you know, he did make a pretty decent catch, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's and from what I hear in camp, he's up and down, up and down, up and down. Mine, it's the usual suspects. Like, the, I'm going to be honest, because at first I had Miles Sanders, and then I'm like, oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't play. Like, that's why you didn't notice him, you, you big like, dummy. What a block by Sanders. No, it was Howard. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's Howard. Okay. All right. Then I was thinking in just the usual suspects, like the white side. Was he out there? Uh, I think he was third string, and technically he was out there, but. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, fam, I didn't even notice you. One of those. Come on, you went to Stanford. Come on. Like, come on. Show something. At least go in the Eagles front office and do the books with that Stanford education. Something at this point. Um, so yeah, just that. I um and just a lot of the bubble guys. Like a lot of the bubble guys, especially once the starters came out, it was just like we talked about this just that second half was so bad. Yeah. I didn't see anybody really step up. Um I heard a lot of good things about McPherson and I noticed they played him a lot. Okay. Um, in the second half, because I think, you know, they want to get a f further look at him to see what they're going to be able to do with him because the kid does have talent. But those are kind of the things that really, you know, stood out to me out of that muck and mire of the second half. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't, as I, I guess, disappointed. I just, it was kind of expected. And, you know, I'm looking to see how that, how the depth performs next week. I want to yeah. see, you know, they got they got some film to watch this week, some things they can look at. And let's see, you know, who looks better <laughs> next week. Yeah. So let's do the Cisco and Ebert. So preseason game one, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, I'll do it as well. Let's do. Yeah, you know, they can't sue us. They're both dead. So Cisco, so thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> so we're stealing your bet. <laughs> so, yeah. So thumbs up, first one for the first unit. There's a lot there to keep us intrigued, all right? So, and I apologize to Cisco and Uber. So, I love that show growing up. All right, so that's it because we are straying off topic. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is going to be it. Thank you for your time. Please remember everywhere you find your favorite podcast, you can find us, okay? So, also, all of the social media platforms, comment. Like I always say, we're trying to do this. We're trying to do it a little bit differently than what you see out of Philadelphia, okay? So, I'll see you guys next game. New England Patriots coming in. So, we shall do it. Closing up, I'm the one and only Big Game Dame. Thank you so much for your time. This is my man, Do Thumbs up and peace.